welcome back to my channel. I'm Enchanted Brat and it's so lovely to be here with you today. Today we are outside in nature, which I wanted to do this because I just love being outdoors so much. So I was like, it would be such a good idea if I'm just outside showing my thrift. So we're doing that today. The first gem we have today is this beautiful little white dress. So pretty, I love the eyelets. Of course, the pretty lace around the trim. And this is like it's a little Y2K brand. The brand is Speed Control New York, size medium. But I feel like it fits smaller than that for sure. Next one I have is this one. It's really long. It's like a maxi skirt. But look how pretty it is, you guys. It's like all lace. And you can kind of see like flowers throughout the whole entire design. It's so good. I'm going to have to trim that off. There's like a little fly away. I just noticed that. But I'm going to have to trim that off. There actually wasn't a size indicated or a brand. So either it was cut out or this could be like a handmade piece. But it's so pretty. I love the slit in the back. Guys, the cutest little lace parasol. I actually own a few parasols already, but when I see them, I can't leave them behind. I have to get them. And we are outside, so no bad luck in this house. I love it so much, you guys. Look how cute it is. It's actually not going to protect me from the sun whatsoever. It's just there to be cute. Cute purposes only. <laughs> cute little undergarments that were actually really cheap. So I have like this little garter. Love the little designs right there. It's perfect for like cinching underneath. Like if you have a skirt or a dress and you kind of want to like cinch and give like more of an hourglass figure then I feel like these always help with that and the little ties were all there and this was a vintage piece so it's not in perfect condition it was along the same lines except this one didn't come with the oh it actually it did I just noticed it did it did come with the little garter straps on this one as well and it has like steel bones on the inside next piece you guys is actually a two-piece I get so excited when I find two pieces especially in this pink shade and it's like this flowy silky material oh my goodness so I believe this might be 100% silk or majority silk again I don't know if there is a brand tag I feel like a lot of these vintage brands just don't have them anymore I don't know if they were just like torn out or maybe it was so old it just kind of fell out or if they didn't put it in the first place but it's so pretty you guys look how adorable it is oh my goodness look it's completely sheer and then you have like these little details that are like more satiny and like around the collar Oh my god, so good. This is the part that goes inside of it. Again, so pretty, completely mesh. Look how gorgeous this is. This is the perfect piece for spring. Look at that. <laughs> and the next one I have, you guys know, I'm obsessed with corsets, all type of corsets and all the colors. So pretty, again, this beautiful flower pattern that we love thrifting. And the front has like this pretty lace detail going down the entire middle. It don't wear a lot of black, but there's some occasions where it kind of calls for black. So this is for those times, but it's so adorable. The next piece we have is a beautiful gown. You guys know I'm obsessed with gowns, especially beautiful flowy ones that are like silk or mesh. And this one is another one of those pieces. The top part almost gives like a corsetting vibe to it, which we love. This was a size one slash two. Definitely fits true to size, but the corsetting helps to kind of make it bigger or smaller depending on your size. Look how adorable. It is so pretty. It's like skinny up at the top and then it flares out like princess vibe at the bottom, which I'm obsessed with. It gives me like Bridgerton. Look at the back details, you guys. And the next piece I have is this like really pretty Regency era dress, you guys. Look. Look at the details on now. We have like a corset vibe in the middle. We have our pretty lace, which we love. This one is a little bit bigger, but I'm gonna make it work for now. It's gonna stay in my closet for now. I might end up selling it eventually, but I just think it's so pretty. And it's like one of those costumes, like back when they made stuff in better detail. I feel like today they kind of like make cheap costumes. I feel like the older ones are always so much better. And I'll probably go ahead and add lace to the bottom as well to match the sleeves. I think that would be so pretty. The next one we have here is this really cute top. It's all tan, it is Free People, which I love. When you actually go to the Free People section in the department stores, you guys know how expensive it is. So it's like, when I find them at the thrift, I get excited. I love the mesh detail at the top, and then it kind of has like this laciness going on, which I love as well. I love when I find camis with details. This one is BB. But look how pretty this cami is. It is so pretty. It's kind of like a salmon pink color, and then it has like this tannish gold overlay on top of it and the sides are kind of like mesh and then you have like this lace like it's literally everything you could want in a cami like I felt like I wish that I could find more camis like this but they're honestly so hard to find you guys it's so hard for me to find like swimsuits that are like that I actually adore it's actually been probably like 
maybe like a year since I found one that I'm like obsessed with. But this one is so good, you guys. Look, it's kind of like a skirt as the bottoms and the top. Oh my goodness. And how rare is it to actually find the top and the bottom at a thrift store? Literally so hard. Like I'll always find the cutest bikini tops, which I actually have bikini tops laying around <laughs> because I'm like, I'll just pair these with some shorts. But the bikini top and the bottom and the fact that it's Tommy Hilfiger too makes it 10 times better. So you guys, I am in love with gowns. The fact that it's this color, like, I feel like I don't have a lot of this color. I was just like, oh my god, I need, I need it in my closet. It's super long. It's a halter, and look at the sequins. Oh my goodness, look how it glistens in the light. It kind of is, like, skinny. It almost has, like, a mermaid vibe to it because it's, like, skinny here, and then it kind of, like, flares out. It is amazing. Look at it. Look how it glistens. The fact that there's sequins on this as well. Look. Oh my god, you guys. I'm obsessed with this one. I just can't. I can't live without this one now. It's definitely meant to be a formal like wedding dress, but you guys know, like I literally have so many of these and they don't have to just be worn at a wedding. Like yes, I'm gonna be definitely wearing one of my thrifted pieces to my actual wedding, but we can wear some of these for like day-to-day -day things too. Formal dinners, fancy operas, theaters. We can do that for all these. We love to be extra. I never like to be normal, so. <laughs> I do have the funniest story about this purse, okay? First, let me show you guys and let's like go crazy over it first. You guys, you guys know how much I love Juicy Couture. I love Juicy Couture. I have an entire Juicy Couture collection. I will do a video for you guys in the future because I have so much Juicy that you guys would just scream over and they're mostly thrifted or like bought on Poshmark, but the funny story about this one, wait, let me show you the inside. Look at the inside, you guys. It's completely clean and the fact that there's like a little lock and key on it like look at the key So cute. Okay, so the funny story about this is I was actually at the Goodwill store and I was looking in the purses like I normally do but like every time I find juicy It's not in the regular purse. It's always behind the showcase in the counter So I was like looking at the purses and I was like I kind of gave up midway, right? And so I was like, you know what, there's never anything over here, let me just like walk away, right? So I walk away, I go over to the lingerie section. Tell me why this girl comes, literally walks over to the purses and finds a juicy purse. A leather one, it was almost like this, except I like this one better, so I'll explain it. And I'm like, literally in my head, losing my mind, like, no, she did not just get that lucky and walk over there and find exactly what I'm always looking for, like that, right? So I walk up to her and I'm like, oh, are you like a reseller? Like, are you gonna sell it kind of thing? Like, here I come, like, if it's juicy, I will come for it. <laughs> so I'm like, are you gonna sell it or whatever? She's basically like, um, like she is gonna sell it, but like, I guess like she was gonna contact me and let me know if she was gonna sell it. So I left and then I came back maybe like, I don't know, 15 minutes later and tell me why there's a juicy bag behind the counter. like. I feel like God was trying to teach me two lessons there. One, don't give up midway. If you're looking through the purses, finish what you started. That's the first lesson I got from that, okay? And two, don't sweat it if somebody beats you to something because another one will make itself manifest to you. You will have a chance to get another one. There's a multitude of bags in the world and God's like, you know, if you lost out on one, I will give you another. And I'm blessed for that because I love this one 10 times more than the first one. I feel like the first one was cute, of course, because Juicy's cute in general, but it was a little bit more plain and this one I feel like has a lot more details to it. I love the studs that are going on around the purse itself and the lock and key is everything to me. By the way, has anyone actually watched the show Lock and Key? It's really good. You guys should watch it. But look at that, that's so pretty. You know what made it even better is like the manager of the store was blessing me and she even went down $10 for me. I was like, okay, blessings coming through all the way. That's how I know it's from God. I was like, yes. Lord. Speaking of God, I found this placard that is so beautiful. You guys look. It says, Earth hath no sorrow that heaven cannot heal. This is beautiful. I'm so in love. You guys know I love my Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. And this is just so pretty. It looks like almost like a tree. I don't know. Like, you see how it has like the little circle and stuff? It's almost like this is like a piece of tree ripped off. And like, there's like painted roses on it. It's completely like porcelain. I think it's porcelain, so if I drop this, it would definitely break. But like, it has this little hook, so I'm like thinking maybe like 
we'll do like some really pretty like outdoor kind of thing and I'll like hang this on the tree something like that I don't know what do you guys think I don't know if I like want to put it outside because I feel like it's too special for me to even put it out there and what if there's like a storm and tries to like break it or something so I don't know I might end up keeping it inside make like a cute little altar space with it I don't know what do you guys think <laughs> this top is so pretty look look how beautiful that is it's so pretty it kind of goes out like a little butterfly right there and the corsetting in the middle which we love so much you guys know how i feel about corsetting and it's on this really pretty creamy color i couldn't tell you guys the brand because it's cut out but i'm in love with this one so much yes i do have a lot of these kind of things in my closet but that just makes me love it 10 times more because it's 100 percent my style next one is so pretty it's all brown look you guys know i'm obsessed with floral i'm obsessed with formal dresses like this oh my goodness the fact that there's ruffles on this is so good and i don't think i have anything that's actually like brown and turquoise as a combo so this is like so amazing this part of it is shorter so it kind of gives you like a little bit of like preview for the leg <laughs> a little preview for the leg but i love how it ruffles so much movement in this dress yes and the last clothing item i have for you guys is this beautiful little bodysuit is this not so angelic you guys look it's white and it has this really pretty like powder blue details on it it is so pretty imagine like a little corset on with this one i can't let this one go this one has to stay with me i'm obsessed this is a more basic piece but we still need these this one's actually from hollister a cute little tube top in a navy blue color which i don't have a lot a lot of navy blue because i don't find that color often and when I do it's not really something that I want but this I was very happy to get so this is actually gonna be the last thing I show you guys is gonna be like a mini thrift haul today because I have a lot to do today I have to load up my store and get ready for my next live stream so I'm gonna wrap it up just after this one this one is so cute you guys it's like a little pitcher and bowl so pretty it's actually a mini one so I don't know if you can tell by the size of my hand but it's a really tiny one I just thought it was so pretty I love the little roses on it and I have I actually have a few of these already I'm like obsessed with collecting these I know but they're just so pretty and like Victorian vintage looking I actually used to have like a little I'll show you a picture I'll put it like right here but it was like a wooden like bowl where you kind of wash your hair in it and I sold it before I moved from North Carolina just because I didn't have the space to bring it but now I'm like regretting it because I loved it so much it was like a Victorian hair washing station face washing station I'm gonna have to buy another one for sure now that I'm here hopefully I can find one for a good deal again but this kind of just reminded me of that because I had like a little pitcher and bowl inside of that wash station and I just I need it back we're gonna get it back you guys I'm actually going to do the second part of this since there's so much thrift I'm actually going to put the second part of this thrift haul next week so it's going to be like this is kind of like part one like a mini version and then I do have another huge bag but I'm going to show it next week so make sure you stay tuned next week for the rest of this video for the continuation <laughs> for the sequel I will go ahead and end the video here I hope you guys enjoyed this little mini thrift haul I know it's normally longer than this but like I said I have quite a bit of things to do today so I'm just going to keep it short today short and sweet so make sure you like comment and subscribe and click the bell notification to be notified when I post a video and make sure you follow me on whatnot where I will be showing pieces that you don't get to see here on the channel and I'll see you in my next one. Bye! Mwah.